Uh, hello, so I'm going to start a series of videos. Uh, it's going to be the basics of advanced steel covering different areas. I'll try to put them in order of how you might use them as a beginner. So I'm going to start with the templates. So right now we're not in any project. So if we come up here and we can see, yeah what we'll do is we'll start it down here so go to your templates and go to here so advanced steel if you come down here these templates are i believe it says no template right so it's not actually a template it's just an advanced steel or sorry an autocad file i believe so the millimeter one obviously is metric so we're going to go to this one which should be imperial so we've opened that so now, later on, you'll learn how to do model views, queries, groups, all those things. Uh, you can add these here and save them in your template file. And we also want to do our units. So let's check your units. So let's go into units. And we can see it's set to architectural 1 16th. I want to make this 1 32nd. Uh, the lighting shouldn't matter. Uh, shouldn't be an issue and that's okay so we'll set that now we can come up here to your project settings so what we'll do first we'll go to the weight unit we want to change this to I don't need this to be 0, 0.0 ounces 0 ounces is enough and we've got a length unit architectural I also want to change this to 132 and the you know, scale units 1 inch angle is fine area is fine you can set anything you want in here uh, we're going to come back up here all of these are going to change per project client you could set a template for each client i don't really see the point um, all these are going to change except for checked by so you could have this as test one and the detailer probably test two in my case these two don't change so i have them set in my template do okay and then we want to go home what we can do in here is we can also add some we can also add some uh sorry layers in here and we'll also cover layers later we're going to cover all these later also so what i'm going to do is we can save that so we we want to do sorry up here save as save as and then we want to go in here as drawing template and you can see here's the other ones so i'll just put this in as test because i'm going to delete it later i'm not actually going to use this one I just wanted to go into the basic one to show you this is fine here measurement see it's english or metric which is unusual i don't know why that's like that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do going to go back and i'm going to open the template which is my own template for 2021 and you can see i have some cameras in here so i can just copy these I also have the compass so I don't forget to put the compass in and what I do then is I'll just come in and rotate it around the center point to whichever direction I need it. I also have the origin marked with a circle and a couple of lines and you can see if I go into my project settings you can see I have in detailer and checked by. So if you come over here I don't really set up too much. I haven't really set up much in here yet. I'm going to do, I have before, I've changed my templates, so maybe we'll do some of this. And um, we also want to cover our layers. So if I come into my layers, you can see we have some hidden grids that's frozen. So what I'm going to do for later purposes is I need to add a couple here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it right now. So I'm just going to come into the layers here. I'm going to open it up over here. Uh, what I'm going to do is I want to create a grout. So I'm going to use one of these ones. And I'm going to create a new one. 
I'm going to call it growth. So that's good. I'm going to create that. And then I want to come down to my grids. And I want to create a new one. And I'm going to call it grids one or first, maybe. And then I'm going to create another one. Grids second. And I'll do grids third also. So I'll have grids for each floor. Now you could just put them on the hidden grids layer, but I generally do them on it. When, when we get to the grids section later, I'll show you the benefit of having layers for these. I'm sure there's different ways of doing it. This is just the way I do it. So first, second, third, fourth, and that's fine. And now we've made some changes. We will make more changes later. So I'm just gonna go to export or sorry save as drawing template and i'm going to copy it over save yes and measurement english okay and now that's saved so if we close that now i don't want to save the changes when i come in here to start a project if i click up here And you can see the grids are here so it automatically opens in that template and we also have our grout here all right so that's kind of the way to set up your template uh, i won't get into it too much more than that um, hopefully that helps you uh, you can create a couple of different templates different ones for different companies if you want i just use the one all right um Hopefully I can do a video every couple of days. It's going to be 30 videos in total, at least. I have like 29 titles right now, and there will be more. So subscribe if you want to watch them all. Uh, hopefully that will be of benefit to you. All right. Take care. Thank you. Bye.